Hi, I'm Daniel, I'm a sleep physician. And if you have insomnia, this channel is for you. Listen, I'm uh, very excited to be doing the first book review ever on this channel. And the first book I would like to look at is Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker. This book came out this year, 2018, and um, garnered a lot of uh, interest. Uh, plenty of my patients have read it, and uh, I will say they, they did seem to like it. So um, how about for you? If you have insomnia, is this a good book to read? Could this help you overcome your difficulty sleeping? Well, I would like to share with you the first chapter, the first thing I read from this book. Um, so uh, going down here to the third, uh, third line, um, two thirds of adults through all developed nations fail to obtain the recommended eight hours of nightly sleep. As we have uh, discussed many times on this channel, this eight hour number really comes from nowhere. I have no clue where it comes from. I did find this historic article that said that even back in the 1700s, people seem to think that we should sleep eight hours. But as we have seen, as we have done journal club, a journal club on this, most people sleep around six hours. A lot of people sleep well below that. Few people sleep above seven hours. So again, where this eight hour comes from, I have no clue. But you know, already there after the first paragraph, I was highly skeptical about the utility of this book for people with insomnia. Now going down a little bit further, in the second paragraph here, we can see that the author is telling us that not sleeping enough causes Alzheimer's disease, disrupts blood sugar levels so you can develop diabetes, it causes uh, cardiovascular disease, stroke, congestive heart failure, etc, etc. I didn't get further than this. I was terribly upset by this because this is total and utter nonsense. There is no evidence whatsoever that short sleep causes any of these negative health consequences, none. There are associations, just like uh, having an ashtray is associated with lung cancer. But we all know that ashtrays do not cause lung cancer. And again, there's no evidence that short sleep has any negative health consequences. Don't get me wrong, not sleeping enough feels terrible and it is extremely important to sleep as much as you can for your well-being, to function well, to feel good. But uh, to say that it has these type of negative consequences is, is completely false. Now, uh, before I give you my recommendations on this book, a little comment on why there's such a divide in the sleep field. There is the majority opinion. Uh, the one held by people in academia, in media, and most people in sleep will tell you that sleep is very important, important uh, for health. And they will tell you things like this, that not sleeping enough will cause you know, cardiovascular disease and uh, poor, poor uh, blood sugar control, etc. And then there are people like myself, people who treat insomniacs. And we will tell you a completely different story. We will tell you that Short sleep has no negative health consequences and there's no inherent benefit except for you know feeling better uh, with trying to sleep more. And in fact, we also point out that trying to achieve a certain number is counterproductive as that often worsens insomnia as I've talked about a lot on this channel. So why is this? Why are so many people telling you that not sleeping enough has all these terrible consequences? They want to sell you something. Uh, there are people that, you know, cases where this is very obvious, like somebody uh, who's trying to sell you a mattress or a pillow cover or some kind of gadget or some nutritional drink that they say is going to make you sleep more or better. Uh, they have an interest in scaring you. It is a fear tactic. Same thing with people in academia. They need funding to conduct research and you know, to, to have a salary. They also try to scare you uh, to make sleep, uh, you know, appear more important. Now, don't get me wrong, yes, sleep is super important, but, it, but it's not 
dangerous to have short sleep. So finally then, if you have insomnia, is uh, Why We Sleep by Matthew uh, Walker a good choice? I say, probably not. If you just have a general interest in sleep, I feel like the whole entire book is just so focused on, on, on showing you that uh, not getting enough sleep has all these negative health consequences. I feel like it's just a fear mongering really. I, I don't think it's a good book. I feel there are many other good books. Uh, if you have insomnia again, uh, what should you be reading? Is there a good book? I think, sorry. <laughs> Here we go. Um, Say Goodnight to Insomnia is a very good book. Uh, it is CBTI focused and, and an easy read and has a lot of uh, case, uh, case examples in it of people who have had insomnia and, and did better with a CBTI. That's it for today. There'll be many more uh, book reviews and I hope to see you here very shortly.